Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video because we actually have new info. Excuse me if I'm a little tired. I just got back from screen streaming. Uh, so today we're going to talk about, we're going to go over the info for the brand new units that are coming for the next summon showcase. Lin, uh, no, I believe it's Nadine and Linnea. Right? Yeah. Lydian and Linnea, and also the three mana spirals out were the three mana spirals for the three new mana spirals for Luis, Lowen, and Melody. Man. Okay, let's get into it. If you end up liking this video, remember to leave a like. Comment about how you feeling. Are you going to be pulling? I'm going to be doing a video. I'm probably not going to go crazy, but we'll see. I don't know what these do, so we're going to find out together. Uh. An eccentric girl who Nadine, an eccentric girl, the, an eccentric girl who arrived in the Holodome, oh yeah, Holodome, Holodome, after a whimsical journey to sightseeing spots around the world, she enjoys capturing images with a magical device from another world and insists on taking selfies with her friends. Let's grab a selfie, celebrate us meeting. Come on, show me those teeth. Does kind of look like a Sheikah slate. Someone said to me she has a Sheikah slate, and I was like. Does she? And I was like, oh yeah, kind of does look like one. Snappy selfie deals flame damage to the enemy directly ahead, inflicts burn, and dispels one buff from each target. In addition, this skill will deal bonus damage to enemies based on the number of teammates in the skill area's effect. If this skill deals, if this skill deals three hits, it also raises the energy level of everyone by one stage and deals bonus damage, flame damage. Deals bonus flame damage. If this skill deals hits. If this skill deals four or five hits, that's a weird way of saying it, it will also raise the user's energy level by three stages and deal bonus flame damage. If this skill deals six or more hits, it will energize the user and deal bonus flame damage. So it's based on the number of people who get hit? Wait, it's based on the number of teammates in the skill area's effect. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Careful composition. Applies one of the following at random to the user. Oh, I get it because it. Uh, never mind. I was like, that doesn't make any sense to me. I think I get it now because you're taking a selfie. So the hits are number of pictures taken. Um, number of people in the picture. One of the, applies one of the following at random to the user. Passionate photograph photographer. Increases strength by 30% for 15 seconds. Trend setting photographer. Increases strength by 30% for 15 seconds and triples the number of hits dealt by Snappy Selfie for 15 seconds. This hit increase effect does not stack. Okay, so you basically want to do careful composition and then do Snappy Selfie. Then why is Snappy Selfie shareable? It seems like if you're not, if you don't have this bonus effect, it's already kind of, I don't know, useless. Um, I guess we'll see. Uh, Co-opability co is HP 15%. Flame Burn equals user strength up by 13%. Extra energy 3, grants an 80% chance of the user's energy level will increase on an additional stage upon being increased. Okay. Uh, stun resistance 100%, and energized strength up 20%, increases strength by 20% for 15 seconds each time the user is energized. Uh, okay. That's Nadine. Interesting unit for sure. Uh, trying to think of what really... Other than Mim, I can't really... No, it's M Mim and Mema are the two... Um, Spear units that I think about. I think, is it called Spear? It's been so long since I've done a Dragala video, I've forgotten what the hell this harpoon looking thing. A spear. Mm -hmm. I'm interested to see how she goes. She seems like she could potentially get, um, she could be very buffable, but I need to see it in action. Right now, it seems like a lot of it is kind of predicated on a lot of random factors, but we'll see. Uh, Linnea, who is Shadow, <laughs> of course. Jigalia, please stop releasing Shadow units. It's not that they're bad. The problem is, is that they're good. All of them are good. That's an issue. <laughs> you can't keep releasing good Shadow units and good Shadow mana spirals. That doesn't make any sense. Attack term, emotionless Sylvan girl who speaks of a lonely rain that falls in her heart. Oh. Cold-blooded on the battlefield, her thoughts and actions are impossible to comprehend, save for her apparent hatred of humans. Good person to add to the team. Activates Cluster Amaryllis, Bless Eternal. The user's next 4 strike will have 3 increasingly powerful charge levels and deal extra damage to poison foes at level 3. In addition, they are immune to knockback while charging their 
force strikes and take reduced damage with certain enemy attacks. If the user is attacked after the first level is charged, charging will be interrupted and the user will initiate a counterattack. Oh, it's kind of like what um, Hunter Vanessa has, I think. Similar, at least, in terms of when you're you, she has a counterattack anyway. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Like Chris's Reframe increases the rate in which the user's force strike charges by 30% for 15 seconds. The speed increase will not stack. If used again, the skill will deal shadow damage to enemies directly ahead and dispel one buff from each target, after which the skill will revert to its initial effect. Strength 10%, HP 80% equals light resistance 6%, Blissful Memories 2. Fills the skill gauge for Bliss Eternal by 30% when three force strikes hit connect during the same combo. Blinding resistance 100% and force strike 50. Damn, girl. She could be really good. To be fair, that's you could say that about all shadow. She seems like she'd be super fun. It sounds like all you want to do is like literally like um, do what blade units already do, which is do your combo force strike. But then she's like, no, just keep force striking. Da 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 da. Like back and forth, like zipping back and forth. Um, I mean, we'll see how she is, but she already seems like she'd be pretty fun. Uh, let me see, I think her only real competition for Blade is Yasu. But if they run two different kind of ways of- mm, we'll see. We'll see how she goes. She could be, um, if with the heavy f emphasis on Force Strike, she could be pretty good, I think. The last Shadow unit I said, like, oh yeah, she seems good, but I don't know how she'd be, and then she ended up being, like, one of the best Shadow units, so... I've learned to kind of stop underestimating Shadow at this point. It's dumb to try. Alright, let's talk about the Mana Spirals for Wind. We got uh, Luis, Piercing Wind, deals wind damage to the enemies in a line. Inflicts poison and restores 5% of the damage inflicted as HP to the user. Sorry, I thought that was something that just came up. This recovery caps at 5% of their maximum HP. Arrow Shower, and it's shareable. Deals wind damage to the enemies in a line. Poison foes take extra damage. Damage will increase the user's HP increase. Skill haste 15%, wind, wind poison equals water resistance 8%, overdrive punisher 15%, uh, bog resistance 100%, strength double buff 15%. Hmm. So that means increases strength by 50% for each time a defense buff is applied. Is there a way for her to do it herself? No, there is not. Hmm. It's kind of hard to judge another, um bow unit, especially considering how crazy dominant um, Hawk is. Um, mm, I don't know about her. Seems like she kind of wants to be run with Lowen, or anyone that increases defense. Um, let's move on to Lowen. This one I'm unsure about. It seems like I think she'll probably be pretty good. The problem is, is that if you're gonna have the choose between Hawk and um, Luis. I mean, I'm personally always gonna pick Luis because she's Luis and not Hawk, but in terms of actual viability, it's gonna be hard. Hawk is just such a... I think for a while it wasn't that there were no good wind units, is that there was no good uh, wind units but Hawk. Hawk was the only one in the entire category. He was like carrying a team on his back that he had far surpassed at that point. So I'm gonna kind of wait and see how she goes. I would love it if she was actually super powerful and good because I would love to have a working with Louise. Lowen, uh, Wind Heal Us. Ooh, this is shareable. Restores HP to all allies and removes Bog. Wind Protect Us. Increases the entire team's defense by 25% for 15 seconds. Gradually recovers the HP for 15 seconds and increases each adventurer's max HP by 15% for the remainder of this quest. Once HP buff reaches the limits, an HP recovery effect is granted instead. Uh, recovery potency 20%, wind critical rate double buff 9%, pure soul <laughs> fills 100% of skill gauges at the start of quest. Using he wind's heal us grants the user a dispel st Wow. When this effect is- at he's basically like Cleo. This effect cannot stack and can be seemed on use. Recovery potency- uh, that's a good buff. It's a good buff to Lowen, I think. I think make some. I think kind of similar to what is it? Halloween Lowen. Let me look at Halloween Lowen. Halloween Lowen is like the best actual healer. Grace is probably up there as well, but she's a really a weird healer. That's why I kind of have a hard time like going. Like, oh yeah, both of them. Um, where are you, Lowen, my boy? I know I have you. Of 
course. I'll be dumb dumb. Let's go here. Then here he goes. Restores AP to all allies, continuous healing over the next 15 seconds. Restores allies. Increases the entire team's max HP by 10% for the remainder of the quest. Once HP broke. Very similar. Oh, the difference is the eight. Yeah, no, no, it's the same. So he is kind of like Halloween Lowen. Uh, minus the other effects to him, regret. obviously. Hmm. So. Yeah, I think he's really good. Oh, man, I just noticed. Okay, so... Skill 1 isn't a gradual. I think that might... I know that burst healing is worse than healing over time. So it maybe We'll see how much this one heals up. But it looks like a lot of its healing is going to actually come from... Uh, skill 2 is what it looks like to me. Mm. I don't know. We'll wait and see. It seems like he'd be pretty good, though. Is all things... After saying all that, I think he's pretty good. I think that's solid. Um, dispel is very useful. It's a super useful. That's the reason why a lot of people even carry around um, um, what's his nuts is uh, Ranzel's uh, X skill shareable because it causes dispel. Made for mayhem. Increase. This is a uh, melody. Increases the entire team's strength by twenty percent for fifteen seconds and activates Maid's Soul. The user's next four strike will deal extra damage. Deals wind damage and then there's Tyro's Gyre. Deals wind damage to the enemy directly ahead and inflicts poison. Strength 10%. Above 10 hits, water resistance 7%. Full HP equal critical rate 15%. Potent freeze 50% and freeze resistance 50%. Um, kind of looks basic. Even her shareable skill is something that uh, Ranzel already kind of does and it's free, so I don't understand. I need to see more of Melody because the problem with a lot of three mana spirals is that they look very um, bland on paper i think is the right way of saying it bland um but then when you actually see their see them in action it turns out that they have crazy damage mods or something so we'll see about melody we'll see about that one uh but yeah that's it that's oh that's everyone kind of looking forward to lowen i definitely like the look of these two girls so i'm definitely going to be summoning for them i'm not going to go crazy obviously um but i'll throw a couple tickets and then some multis at them to see if i can get them uh, and I'm glad to see that there's a new event finally coming. It's nice to that Dragalia Dragali Dragali is spinning up the old machine again. Uh, that's it for this video, everyone. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day, everyone. Goodbye. Don't forget to hit that like button if you ended up liking it. And subscribe to me if you want <laughs> more Dragalia stuff. Um, that's it. All right, goodbye, everyone. Have a nice day. See you later.